Hey guys, the name's Flippy, and yes, it's that time again where we go through what has arrived in this week's reset. The moment you start the game, you will see a message from Shin Malfur. This is the Lumina quest, which has actually begun today. So it says, the man with the golden gun. There's a letter waiting for you on the clifftop. Same place as before. I've got a gift for you, supposing you want it. So uh, if you did watch my last video, you'll know that the leak stated that you would have to go to where you found the thorn at that campsite uh, to actually begin the Lumina quest and it seems like that leak was true judging by the word cliff top and same place as before I'm guessing that is how you start the Lumina quest and I'm guessing all the leaks that came out will be the same so as always we'll start off with the flashpoint the flashpoint for this week is on on the tangled shore so basically just do activities complete the heroic adventures to get the most efficient progress blah 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 you get the picture uh, doing all these activities will get you that powerful gear moving on to the strikes the perks for the heroic strikes this week are as follows Arc Singe. Arc damage increases slightly from all sources. Blackout. Enemy melee attacks are significantly more powerful and radar is disabled. And Grenadier. Grenade abilities deal more damage and recharge much faster. The Nightfall Strikes for this week are as follows. Strange Terrain, The Hollowed Lair and Zevathan Song. Now according uh, to the leak uh, that I put up in my video yesterday, the Lumina Hand Cannon quest will actually require you to go into the Nightfall and get a score of 50,000 or higher. For this week, Tess Everest is selling the following. Consult the Archives emote, Lucid Memory, a weapon ornament for the Lumina, and a weapon ornament for the Borealis. For Bright Dust, you can pick up the Crescent Shell, the Curse of Foresight Sparrow, a weapon ornament for the Tauber, which is actually really good because I will need that as I got the Tauber yesterday, lucky me, and then the Verdigris uh, Shader. Other the items for Bright Dust include the following, the Giddy Laugh Emote, the Oviraptor Ship, the Intrepid Discovery Strides for the Hunter, the Caduceus Ornament for the Warlock Armor Obsidian Aspects, the Salt of the Fields Ornament for the Weapon Pillager, the Intrepid Exploit Mark for the Titan, and the Viper Projection for the Ghost Shell. This week I will be picking up the Taraba as that is actually a weapon ornament that I'd really like. So so give me that ornament. Thank you very much, Tess Everest. Heading over to the gunsmith now. His bounties for this week to obtain your enhancement cores are as follows. So today he's selling pulse rifle calibration, heavy machine gun calibration, arc weapon calibration, and for the week he is selling a defeat targets with precision final blows on the tangled shore, earn bonus progress in heroic adventures and lost sectors, and the other weekly bounty is calibrate weapons against targets and strikes, gambit and the crucible, earn um, bonus progress with precision final blows or for using energy or power weapons, simple. And today he is saying the mods radar tuner and the mobility mod. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to the location where you start the Lumina hand cannon quest. First you have to head to the European dead zone and spawn in the Trostland. So once you spawned in the Trostland you basically need to head over to the salt mines which will be over here Once you get to the salt mine, simply head to the uh, back of the room and you'll see this uh, teleporter transmat device which you used before to get to the thorn. Once you've transmatted, simply head up this hill. Once you get to the top of the hill, there'll be a little ledge on the left which you then have to jump onto and then head towards the camp. Once at the camp, head to the very back and you'll find a chest. When you open this chest, you'll get the first part of this quest called a fateful gift, which basically tells you to go and find the original thorn. 
find this original thorn, it will give you a system's positioning device which will give you a location. This location will change once every hour on the hour. My system's positioning device told me that the original thorn was located in shaft 13. So simply head to shaft 13, walk through the corridor and then turn right into this little room and you should find a chest. Open this chest and it should give you the original thorn and the next part of the quest. This part of the quest requires you to get 250 orbs of light. Anyways, that is all for now on this quest. I will hopefully be discovering the other steps to this quest to obtain the Lumina Hand Cannon, but they shouldn't be too difficult. Please drop a like on this video if I did help you find the original Thorn and start this quest. Do let me know down in the comments below if you are excited to obtain the Lumina Hand Cannon. I certainly am. Don't forget to subscribe if you so wish, and as always, I'll see you when I see you.